What is up guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. Zero Hour back with you again for another Brawl Stars video. Huge shout out goes to Justin guys. Check out this new overlay. Very cool stuff. He's working on a few projects for me. So definitely go and check him out. His Twitter's right down there. Show him some love. Justin, thank you so much, man. This is sick work. But let's get into today's video. We're going to be talking about star powers and brawlers, and we're going to be ranking them from best to worst, or rather, worst to best. So let's start off with the bottom and work our way up. So guys, the update has come out, and these star powers are after the update. Number 19, coming in and dead last, is none other than poor o poor zero he did get a buff in the most recent balance changes but his star power is still lackluster he takes less damage but it's still not the best i don't know what they can do but hey it's very hard to hit daryl he's bouncing around like a crazy man bouncy ball pinball in a pinball machine it's insane he doesn't really need this but it is what it is that's why he gets the last spot Moving on to number 18. Okay guys, so number 18, very similar to number 19, just got a recent buff, but still is coming up short. Number 18 is gonna be El Primo. Now, the problem with El Primo is he's already jumping on people, so setting them on fire, especially for the small amount he does, isn't that good. It just doesn't benefit him. I don't know what they can do for a better star power, and unfortunately for him, there are much better ones. So, that's why he's getting the last spot. I'm sorry, El Primo. I still love you. You're still a great brawler. Guys, these star powers are not dictating what the best brawlers in the game are. This is just star power, okay? We're basing this off of the star power and the new balance changes. Now that you understand that, let's move on to number 17. Number 17 coming in, it is going to be Dynamite. Now, the reason why is because these are all my personal opinion. I don't know if I just don't know how to use it properly, but to me, it doesn't seem like it's that beneficial. Now, what Dynamite does is he throws his Dynamite stick down and it bounces him up into the air. It can help him on some heist maps to get over some obstacles and get to the safe, but all in all, it's very limiting and it's only good on a certain map. So that's why Dynamite is going to be very far down on the food chain. Sorry, Dynamite. It is what it is. Once again, you're an okay brawler. Really not that good of a brawler either, but let's move on to number 16. Coming in at number 16 is none other than Brock. Now guys, Brock is one of my favorite brawlers. I have nothing against him. I think he's amazing. Just unfortunately his star power, which is a passive ability, and once his rockets hit, set a blaze to everything around it. Now, not everything, that would be awesome, but just the area where the rocket landed. The problem with this is it is very easy to avoid, plus it doesn't do that much damage. I would like to see him get something else, some sort of different star ability. Once again, this is not the video to think up new star abilities. If you guys think of them, put them down in the comments. This is simply a video ranking them from worst to best. So Brock, while I love you, while you're one of my favorite brawlers in the game, your star power is lackluster and you need to step it up. Brawl Stars, show Brock some love. Although if they did, he'd kind of be OP and then everyone complains. So hey, it is what it is. Let's move on. Coming in at number 15 is going to be Piper. Now, the reason why is because Piper's ability lets her do more damage while she's hidden in the grass. While I think this is a great ability, it is limited by the maps she is on. Plus, Piper already is limited. So, that's why she's going very low on this list. I like Piper. I think it's a cool star power. I don't think they need anything different. I think it's good where it is. Unfortunately, it's just not as good as some of the others. Sorry, Pipes. You did your best, but hey, maybe next time. Number 14 is going to be Barley. Now, the reason Barley is here, and we're getting more to the middle of the map now, okay? These aren't all bad. I'm not saying these star powers are bad, but they're just not as good as the rest. So, Barley's in at number 14. The reason why is because he'll take a swig and he'll regain some health. Now, while that is good... And trust me, it's a good ability. It's just not packing an extra punch to get him over the hump. And it's just not that impressive. It's just kind of a passive ability. He'll take a swig. It's good to use while he's at half health or something like that. Anything below that, you're trying to get away. You can regain more HP while you're getting away. Get out of combat. Get more HP back. It's going to be better there. Just lets Barley go into combat when he's at half HP. And then get a little more damage in. So it's good, but it's not great. It is what it is. Let's move on. Coming in at 13 is going to be Bo. Bo got a buff on the most recent balance changes and can see further into the bushes, 
Unfortunately, Bo is still limited by the maps he goes on. Now, I love this ability. I think it's amazing. I just think we need more maps to benefit Bo in this ability. It's good on Snake Prairie and a couple other maps, but that's pretty much it. Outside of that, it's pretty much all Bo has. I like that they gave him the stagger step with the bombs and mines again. I think that was amazing. But unfortunately, we're not talking about that. We're talking about star power. Bo, you can see like an eagle, but still not quite enough to get you further up the list. Let's move on to the next one. Coming in at number 12 is going to be Bull. Now, Bull increases his rage ability all the way up to 50%. So once he drops below half health, he will rage up and shoot faster and be a beast. I love this. I actually saw on a live stream the other day that I thought they should put it at 50%. They have... I think it's perfect for Bull, and that has moved him up from where he used to be, which was much, much lower on previous lists. Guys, Bo is good. You can use him now, and that ability should help him out in the future. Can't wait to see what happens, but Bull, you're doing good. I think I called you Bo earlier. I apologize. That's not Bo. That's Bull. If I didn't say that, I'm sorry. Moving on. Number 11 is going to be none other than the Pamster, all right? Pam is amazing, and her super is amazing. We're not talking about supers. We're talking about star power. Let's focus. Her star power is still amazing. She regains health from every attack. Now, why this is so good, number one, because she's regaining health. Number two, she is actually has a ring that will heal other people in it. Now, while it's not that beneficial to other people unless they're clumped up with you, it is still an amazing ability. If someone is attacking you and you are backing up, you will be hitting them more and you will be regaining more health. This ability is amazing and puts Pam from where she was at a great brawler to an amazing brawler. I will do a top brawlers list in the future, but right now we're just talking about star power. Let me know where you guys think Pam is because I think she's very high up on the brawler list as well. Star power, amazing. Pam in general, amazing. Let's keep going. Number 10 is going to be Tara. Now she recently got a buff and that has helped her move up the ladder on star power just a little bit. Her minion that spawns once she does her vortex has been increased in health and I think that is going to be very good. Her minion definitely needed that. It's still fast, still amazing, still hits, and it has more HP. So, way to go Brawl Stars. Good job on Terra. Keep up the good work. I've loved the new balance changes, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Not really too much to say about Terra. It's good. It's great. Let's keep going. Coming in at number 9 is going to be Nita. Every time her bear attacks and hits an enemy opponent, Nita will regain 200 HP. Along with every time Nita attacks and hits an enemy opponent, her bear will regain 200 HP. The reason this is so good is because it recently got buffed, so now she's healing more, which is great. She definitely needed that. And Nita doing piercing damage, if you team her up with the right people, she can do pierce right through them, hit tons of people, regain that bear's health, and it works out very, very well for Nita. Great buff. Let's keep going. Holding down the number eight spot is gonna be everyone's favorite grave digger. That's right, Mortis. He's not as good as he used to be. He gets less HP once people drop souls. For his star special, what happens is once he kills someone or any of the opponents die, they drop their soul, which is in the form of a skull. He picks it up, he regains HP, and it's amazing. The only problem is it got nerfed in the most recent balance changes, so that's made Mortis fall with his star ability. I'm sorry, Mortis. He's still good, still amazing, just not quite where he was. I gotta be honest, he probably needed a nerf. It was a little bit too much. The poor Brawl Stars dev team has had so many problems with Mortis. He's been rebalanced more than any other brawler, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. That's where he's at now. I think it's good. I think it's a happy medium of where he was and where he is now. And it's just kind of, it feels right. So hopefully Mortis will be good. They won't have to mess, him with, mess with him anymore. And let's keep our fingers crossed for everyone's favorite grave digger. Moving on. Shelly is coming in at number seven. And the reason why is because her star ability is simply amazing. It is not limited by maps. It is not limited by just her. Her star special is so good, star power, I apologize, is so good because it freezes the enemy and slows them down. Now what that means is she can catch up if they're getting away, finish them off, or her teammates can come, zoom in, help take that person out because yes, they are in fact slowed. Shelly can already clear obstacles. With those out of the way, she can spread her freeze to everyone. It's amazing, it's very good, and I believe it's one of the most underrated star powers in the game. 
Shelly's great. Try her out. Trust me, you want to have her star power. Let's move on to number six. Coming in at number six is going to be Rico. The reason Rico isn't higher on this list is because he is limited on the maps. Rico's star power is once he bounces his bullets, they will do more damage and increase in speed. Now, obviously, the more walls you have, the better this ability is going to be. I think it's an awesome ability. He just recently got a little bit nerfed. Even with that, Rico is still an amazing and very strong brawler with his star power. Even without it, he's amazing. But it is a good one. Guys, try it out. Unfortunately, limited by maps, so it is what it is. That's why it's not higher up. Rico, I love you. Don't be mad at me. You're a robot. Can't really be mad. If you are, you take over. Kind of like iRobot. I feel like I'm talking about this too long. Let's move on. Breaking into the top five is going to be none other than our boy Spike. He recently got nerfed in the most recent balance changes, but still okay. He does 500 healing while he is stationed inside of his special, which is just kind of a blob that slows people down. It's kind of what it is. It's a star power. Makes him heal. Why is it the blob? I don't know. I don't know why. That's what it is. And it's amazing. The reason why it's so good is because he can throw down his special and either slow people down to catch up, slow people down to get away, but if he is in pursuit, he can throw it down and heal while attacking people. It turns him into basically a close up range brawler with insane splash damage from his spikes. Normally Spike needs to be away, keep his distance, and you know, kind of shoot from the furthest distance he can. With this star power, he can get up in the mix, attack people from very close up without getting too close. You don't want to get too close to anyone like Shelly, things like that. But still, with other brawlers, he can definitely get closer and he could because of this healing ability. It's great. It's made him very powerful. Got me in the top five. Well done, Spike. Let's keep going. Number four is actually one of my favorite brawlers as well. It's going to be Poco. They have given Poco a huge buff in the most recent balance changes. And what he does is when he attacks, not only will he do damage to an enemy opponent, but he will also heal any teammates that are hit by this as well. He will heal them up for 200 and that is amazing. So what this means is Poco is basically the man. No, seriously, Poco is one of my favorites, if not my favorite brawler. Him and Brock are definitely both up there. But this is an amazing ability because Poco does splash. So if you have one of your teammates going in trying to take someone out, you can assist them and not only do damage to the person they're doing damage to, but heal up your uh, teammate as well. On top of that, Poco's special is obviously just a healing wave. So Poco is a healing madman. I think this is great. I don't know what they could have done differently. Poco's OP. I guarantee you people will be calling for a nerf on Poco. I'm going to try and max my Poco out at 500 trophies as soon as possible because I don't want to be hit with a nerf. I want to take advantage of this, and you should too. Max out your Poco. It's amazing. You will not regret it, guys. Trust me, he is very good. That's enough about Poco. I feel like I've talked about him too much. Let's keep it on and keep it on and just let's, let's act like this didn't happen. Me and Poco, this me and Poco thing then out let's you know what to do number three on our list top three guys this is gonna be jesse and what she does is she heals her turret because of her star power every time she attacks it so what this means and what this has done for jesse is taking jesse from a backseat brawler who was only good with a couple comps and strategies into the big leagues and made her diversify and able to use with any brawler out there her turret is now basically a bullet ping point. She can throw it out and doesn't have to hide it as much as she once did because as soon as she hits it, she will heal it up and also ping her attack to another enemy combatant. It is amazing. It is basically an extension of her gun, letting her shoot further, stronger, and more powerful, except not the last two, just further, but it does heal her turret as well. So Jesse is definitely up there. Number three on the star power, very formidable opponent, but let's see who the top two are. Pause the video, let me know who you guess they are down in the comments right now, who's first, who's second, but let's find out together. Here we go. Coming in at number two, and these last two were incredibly hard, guys. Very difficult to do, 
I feel like we made the right decision. Let me know what you think. Number two is gonna be Crow. The flying bird, death from above. Crow is amazing. Crow's star power reduces enemies damage by 10%. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but stretched over the course of a three minute, four minute, five minute fight, that adds up and makes Crow one of the best star powers in the game on top of being one of the best brawlers in the game, period. I don't wanna hear it. You can't argue with me because I'm posting the video. You can argue with me in chat, but not now. Crow's amazing. This ability is definitely up there. Second. Only top by one brawler, and let's find out who it is right now. You guys guessed it, that's right, the number one star power has to go to Cole. His star power lets him move faster. Now, it's not going to be as fast as Crow, but it is faster than any other brawler in the game, and this makes Colt amazing. Colt was already a great brawler. Once you get this ability, he can dash in, he can dash out, and he can get to point A to point B faster than any other brawler once again besides Crow. This makes a brawler who was already lethal pretty much invincible. Colt will track you down, chase you around a corner, and shoot you with his bullets. This is the most powerful star power in the game simply because it is usable on every map. There are no limitations on it. You don't have to use anything. It is a passive ability and it has increased Colt's status from an already great brawler to arguably one of the best brawlers, if not the best brawler in the entire game. Guys, that's going to be my list. If you want to see other lists like this, let me know down in the comments. Definitely smash the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. But I've thought about ranking all the brawlers. Once again, this is just the star power. So if you want to see brawler rankings, things like that, best maps, let me know and I'll definitely make that happen. But as of this video, that's going to be it. So if you're still here, you definitely know what to do. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and as always, keep on brawling.